Welcome back to Sports Edge. Joining us now, the head basketball coach at Quinnipiac University, Tom Moore. Tom, thanks for joining us. This is a busy time for you. I mean, you guys are in the heat of practice right now, getting ready for that first game. Yeah, very exciting time for all us uh, college basketball coaches and college basketball fans and media. It's it's a great time of the year. We've had, thanks for including us. <laughs> here we've, had, we've had two uh, two secret scrimmages so far, and we open up this Friday at the uh, Connecticut Six up at Central Connecticut. We're real excited about it. What can we expect from your team this year, Tom? You lost a lot of uh, scoring uh, from a year ago. Uh, uh, hopefully, John, you know, we, we, the biggest thing we had trouble with a year ago is we were, again, nationally ranked number one in the country in rebounding mm -hmm. and rebound margin and offensive rebounds and all that stuff. And we guarded very well, but we just could not score at a high enough clip a year ago. We didn't shoot the ball very well from the perimeter, so we made a real conscious effort in our recruiting to bring in better shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, we've lost our top four scorers from a year ago, uh, the most common names, Usman Drame and Zaid Hurst, but we also lost Justin Harris and Evan Conti. So a lot of new faces. We're trying to get them to understand the value of defense, the value of Quinnipiac rebounding. But I do think we have the potential to be a better offensive team as the year goes on. You, you brought up rebounding, and I wanted to ask you about that because it seems like no matter what phases are there, you guys are always tops in the country when it comes to statistically rebounding. What is it? A lot of stuff from the UConn days, you know, a lot of physicality in practice, a lot of the same drills, a lot of the same emphasis, and it's something that um, I think my staff does a really good job of too as well at making sure that I commit to it every day in practice and our guys bought in. And now, Noah, like you said, it's almost part of our culture yeah. where the older guys are preaching to the younger guys like, hey, listen, this is what we do. So it is a cardinal rule in our program. Like, you know you're going to get yelled at or taken <laughs> out if you don't do what you're supposed to do on both backboards. Tom, now your ninth season at mm -hmm. Quinnipiac. It's, it's gone like that. Uh, for us covering you, I'm sure for you too. Yep. Is the program where you want it to be? And, and how much higher can it go? we got to get that NCAA tournament bid right. because I think that will change everything about Quinnipiac. Uh, basketball internally and our and our um, you know our image externally too as well throughout the Northeast where we're scratching and people know that we're improving and people know that we've come a real long way with the TD Banks Sports Center and we really need that NCAA bid to push ourselves over the top. One of the new players you have, Shays, Shays Daniels. You see how I said that? It's, we've been saying Chase, Chase for the I longest know. time. <laughs> he's, he's familiar to a lot of people locally because he played high school ball locally. We've been blessed with uh, outstanding big men since I've been there, from Justin Ruddy to Ike Azatam to Usman Drame, and we really feel Shays is the next in line. Like you said, a local product. He went to Maloney High School. He went to New Hill House right here in New Haven. He also went to Putnam Science up in uh, Putnam for a year as a preps kid. He's poised and ready, I feel, to get a lot of touch. And, and be a be a go-to scorer in the low po post as a sophomore. So I think Connecticut local Connecticut fans, hopefully you'll come out and watch him and support him because he's uh, he's one of our own. And hopefully people will come out Friday to uh, take part in the Connecticut Six. You open your season uh, against Sacred Heart. How much do you love the Connecticut Six tournament? I think it's great for all six of us, uh, John, because it gives us one night where we're sort of outside of UConn's shadow mm -hmm. because a lot of obviously and, and well deserved UConn gets a lot of uh, publicity from the local media and stuff statewide. But it gives it shines a light for for a night on the other six mid-major programs in the state, and we've got real healthy rivalries, a lot of respect amongst the amongst the six schools, and we'll be playing a really good Sacred Heart team that's well coached by Anthony Latina as he's getting his fingerprints on that program now too as well. So it should be a good take, and I, I also think the other two games, Yale and Fairfield, and Hartford and Central, will be great games too as well. You have to get dirt on Anthony's coming in tomorrow. He'll get the last <laughs> word. Let me warn you though. He, Coach Calhoun talks fast. I talk fast. <laughs> Anthony talks faster. faster. Get the mics ready. <laughs> hey, listen, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, again, I know this is a busy time here. Best of luck on Friday. Best of luck uh, this whole season. NCAA tournament bid is just sitting out there for the plucking. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Head over to News 8 at 11. Ann and Darren are standing by.